Hey, what's up everyone? Kai here from Love Lawns. So I've been using this new Husqvarna 325 ILK battery combi unit for the past week and I wanted to share my opinions with you. So I've got it here with the line trimmer attachment which in Australia is $550. According to Husqvarna, they don't actually class this unit as a commercial unit, as a full commercial unit, but in my opinion it's very much as powerful as the current commercial line trimmer that they do, the 520 ILX. In fact, I actually think this has got a little bit more power to be honest and the power output is actually equivalent to a 25cc two-stroke unit which is very similar to the 525 LST from Husqvarna or the still uh, is it the FS94 RCE uh, which is they're basically the most popular sort of petrol handheld line trimmers and something that you'll probably all be very familiar with. So having the flexibility to change the attachments on this combo unit is super helpful and I'll definitely be purchasing the, the rest of the range over the next coming months. Um, the first one will be the, the edger attachment, the blade edger, followed by the pole saw. I do actually own the long extension Husqvarna battery pole saw, the, the super long one, but I don't find I use it a great deal because A, it's too long to fit in my trailer, so I have to attach it to the top, which means I've got to take it on and off all the time for security reasons. B, I don't do a huge amount of super high, super long tree work, super tall tree work, and generally it's for cutting down palm fronds and seed pods and stuff, which I just use my silky saw for. So I don't use that a great deal, um, but I do have to use the pole saw occasionally, and therefore I end up using either the Ego one or the petrol steel one, which is mostly what I use. So getting the attachments for this is gonna be sweet because I only have to carry one battery tool, one head, and I've got all the attachments. So this unit takes the standard Husqvarna BLI batteries. The BLI, this is the 200, it takes the 300 as well, and gives you the opportunity of using it with either the internal battery like this, or with a dummy battery and having the battery external tethered to either the belt or the backpack, which is, it's the way to go. It, without a doubt, it's the way to go. I found that the run times and battery use with the BLI 300 to be very similar to the 520i Alex and compares roughly to a tank, a tank and a half of fuel on a standard petrol uh, two stroke like the 525 for example. Um, this obviously depends quite a bit on how you're actually using the unit and what you're trimming and uh, I'd say battery life is very good. Four batteries would generally be enough to get me through a whole day of regularly maintained lawns. If you didn't want to go down the option of like solar on your roof or inverters or trying to charge it at people's houses and stuff. If you just got four BLI 300s, you'd generally be all right, I think for most regular customers. Strangely enough, I really like the three stage safety switch on this. It's easy to use, it's comfortable, and it doesn't get in the way. It's also great to see a battery life indicator on here, along with the on off switch and the speed selector switch. And having them both there, easy to use, even with gloves on, is perfect. And you know, having a dedicated on off switch is definitely the way to go with these tools, these powerful tools. And I don't really understand why all companies don't do it, to be honest, because you know, if this has got a pulsar on and you pick it up, you know, you can effectively activate it if it hasn't got the on off switch which you know it's not a great idea so stoked to have that on there great design and like you know I'm not, I don't think I'm biased towards any particular brand but if they're well thought out and they're implemented well I'll certainly say it you know and if they're not I'll also say it so you know I'm not affiliated with Husqvarna, Steel Ego, any of them if it's good I'll say it's good if it's bad I'll say it's bad you know just as I did with all the other reviews I've done you know, if I like something, and it's very personal, this is my, my opinions. Hopefully I've got a bit of experience which I can share with you. But it is my own, opi my own opinions, so take that with what it is. But yeah, if it's good I'll say, if it's not so good I'll certainly say that as well. So you have a speed selector switch here, which selects from one, two or three. And I find I just leave it in two for most of the time, that's the, the sort of sweet spot for runtime and power that I found. Um, it's very easy to select your speeds on the go. 
and it also memorizes the speed setting so when you turn the machine on uh, off and then back on it stays at the setting that you've got it at so you don't have to fiddle with it each time so i've gone ahead and changed the standard husqvarna head that it comes with which is the t35 m10 and i've put on there the larger 450 speed feed head so it just glides across the grass now which is beautiful i've also gone ahead and put on the rubberized handle from the 525 lst and now the machine in my opinion is perfect for me i love it it's great being as it's a split shaft machine, you do get slightly more vibrations through the handles when you're using it, but it's absolutely minimal. It's, it's ever so slightly more than you would get through the 536 LILX or something like, well, they've renamed it to the 520 now, um, which I've been using for the past two years. And that's because the motor's at this end and it's direct straight to the head. Anything with a split shaft is gonna be slightly more vibrational than, than a direct motor. So I would compare the Husqvarna 325 to the still FSA 130R and probably the Ego as well, the, the non-commercial trimmer that turns anti-clockwise. Very similar feelings to that. Considerably less than any petrol unit out there and obviously no fumes and no, um, no noise, or very little noise. You know, a lot of my customers always appreciate our battery tools for how quiet they are. And you get heaps of comments from people, just passers by saying how quiet they are and you know, how good they look or the quality work they're doing. Obviously it's all in the beholder, but the tools do help. So, uh, you know, I love the fact with these tools, this one in particular, that you can choose whether you put the battery in the machine or whether you carry a battery, be it on your back or with a belt. So, you know, you can choose, choose to be tethered or not tethered, basically. Having that option is, in my opinion, so much more convenient, especially for us in our style of business where, you know, we might see 15 properties a day and we're in and out of the U, in and out of the, the trailer, picking it up, putting it down. You know, it's not like, we don't work for the council. We're not trimming for miles and miles, um, which say something like the FS, FSA 130R from Steel or the commercial one from ego where you put the backpack battery on plug it in and off you go for four hours that works for that um, even to a degree the palink one but for us having the convenience of being able to pick it up and put it down without being tethered is is a huge bonus and something that we've been waiting for for ages in fact in a combi unit um, so very pleased with that i know ego do their combi unit but i'm personally not a massive fan of the way they've implemented the power on that, which I'll discuss in a future video when I compare them. So far, I'm loving this new combi trimmer from Husqvarna and it's become my go-to daily trimmer. I'll also be buying a second unit, as I said, as I mentioned earlier, which will replace my current uh, petrol combi units and my other battery combi unit as well. Slowly, we're streamlining our tools and our systems so we can achieve the optimal output for our business. And as you probably know, that's a bit of a process. Um, but we're slowly getting there and tools in particular this tool has really helped with that process so I'm super stoked with that anything that can help with that process very welcome let me know if you've picked one of these up if you've had any experience with it I'd love to hear your thoughts and generally if you're using battery tools throughout your business um, let us know what you think of them and, and how your journey's been what you're using how you find it you know what you found best and worst etc etc so yeah let us know your opinions down below in the comment section and if you enjoyed this video consider subscribing uh, you can follow us on instagram as well and uh, yeah thanks again for watching super appreciated see you on the next one